On January 13th, 2016, Navy Expeditionary Combat Command will celebrate 10 years as a type command in the United States Navy. Navy Expeditionary Combat Command was created to better align our Expeditionary Combat Forces and improve their combat effectiveness. Throughout most of our Navy's history, coastal and riverine warfare, diving and salvage, explosive ordnance disposal, Navy construction, and expeditionary logistics forces have provided core capabilities essential to the fleet commander's operational requirements going back to the late 1800s. The Riverine Force can be traced back to 1862, diving and salvage to 1939. The launch of the Can-Do Seabees and mine disposal to 1941. The creation of the Navy Expeditionary Logistics to 1945, the launch of Coastal Warfare to 1964, an underwater construction force to 1974, all aligned under one type commander with the official establishment of NECC. While 10 years is a milestone our force recognizes, the establishment of NECC has professionalized all that goes into generating expeditionary combat and fighting power for the fleet. Our expeditionary warriors are continuously deployed to the tip of the spear across seven continents in support of six geographic and three functional combatant commanders. With our establishment, we have seen the transformation of our expeditionary forces continue to meet our mission with integrity, accountability, initiative, and toughness. We are enabling the Navy to conduct high-end conflict through our expeditionary task forces and our continued support and alignment with the United States Marine Corps. As we move into the next decade, one thing is clear. The current and future demand signal for expeditionary combat forces remains high. Now into the future, we will improve our combat effectiveness to promote and protect freedom of the seas. To keep up with that demand and all of our naval requirements, we will continue to conduct rigorous and realistic training to inculcate our warrior ethos into the next generation of expeditionary sailors. In the very near future, I will be promulgating my campaign plan for NECC to execute CNO Richardson's design for maintaining maritime superiority. Many of our civilians were plank owners here at NECC and have served us proudly for the last decade, and a number of our sailors are not only doing repeat tours, but they've been in combat and served in difficult operational missions. No missions could be accomplished without the dedication and sacrifice of the amazing sailors and civilian force that have served and are currently serving within the NECC enterprise. Before Force Mass Chief and I close, we want to again recognize those of our sailors in this force that have paid the ultimate sacrifice. Their ultimate contributions are not forgotten. We must carry their legacy with us as we continue the NECC mission.